Hola friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I hope you're having a wonderful day from wherever you're watching. If you're having a less than lovely day or maybe your week isn't going as smoothly as you would like, know that you are not alone. We have been having some issues with our bathroom. The past couple of days, plumbers and workers have been trying to fix a leak. Now they're at the point where they have to rip up all of the floor, which means we have to leave for a couple of days. Okay girls, we have to go somewhere. So do you remember when the plumber was in our house? Yeah. And he was fixing the toilet? Yeah. We have to go stay somewhere else for a couple nights. Go find a new house? Mm, not quite, only for a couple days. So we have to pack up some things? So since moving to Mexico, we've definitely faced some obstacles and challenges, but finding a place that we feel comfortable in and can call home while we are here has never been an issue. So this is really the first problem we had with our home. So we're really just trying to make the best out of the situation. It's only a couple days. We are so, so grateful for our landlord and our living situation. All right, so I think we are pretty much packed. I'm also pretty sure we packed more for three days away from home than we did for an entire week in Guatemala. Um, but we're ready to go. We're going to pack it in the car and then take stuff for our home away from home for the next few days. So welcome to our home for the next couple of days. It's cute, it's cozy, it's small, and it's just enough space. How did you get our stuff here? <laughs> we brought it here this morning. All right, so we are all settled in for the next couple of days here. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I really like the unorganized chaos of unexpected it's events. A true test to see how you can adapt to uncomfortable and unfamiliar situations. It is always interesting to see how the girls react and adapt to these situations as well. At the end of it all, we're just grateful to have a bed to sleep in and a kitchen to cook some food in, and yeah. definitely much needed because they didn't have a great sleep last night they were a little cranky um, so they are snoozing in the back and we are just cruising around looking at all the absolutely amazing houses and planning where we're gonna live in the future all 
Alrighty, so we're on day two of being away from home. The girls were supposed to share the single bed and Jerry and I the double bed. It ended up me squishing in the single bed with feet in my face and oh, it was um, we had a place to sleep last night. That's what I'm grateful for. <laughs> we packed ourselves for three to four days away just in case it took longer than expected. And we got a call last night saying it was ready. Our bathroom just can't be used until noon today. So we're gonna pack up our entire mess and go on an adventure today. Go in the oven too. Mm -hmm. So this could be the oven. What's on your pizza? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yes. And we got a circle. A circle. back we went to a market in Bosque Los Colomos and this is where the Japanese gardens are that we're gonna go check out today we have had intentions to um, get back there but we just haven't so we thought since we had no plans for today the girls had no school and we were technically supposed to be away from home that we would go check it out today so regardless that we are back home we are still gonna go for a little bit of an adventure you ready how the parks and green spaces in Guadalajara were um, and that they'd heard that there aren't many and I mean I don't have many cities to compare to but I find that there are so many amazing um, beautiful clean green spaces here in Guadalajara oh parks to check out Bosque Los Colomas is one of our favorites we've only been here a couple times um, but each time we see something new uh... what does the chicken say park a couple times for a and market we painting. and we're painting um, and we've seen this little paint set up before but today we decided we'd give it a try um, why not the girls loved it so for 35 35 25 and 15 so for 110 pesos you can buy a little wooden toy and paint it they give you paint brushes and aprons and all the paints and then you get to let it dry while you explore the rest of the park and come back to pick it up Very 
20 45 minute walk back to the car we are headed home thank you so much for tuning in today and joining me for our relocation experience thank goodness it was only for one night we get to go back home now into our own beds tonight if you like today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you aren't already be sure to subscribe to my channel turn on alerts and we'll talk to you guys bye, bye. next week <laughs>